We've been teaching some principles of faith. I want you to listen to this because this is very important. Uh, these principles of faith because you cannot be the parent and cover your children in prayer and say, without understanding these principles. You can't even live and fulfill your purpose or destiny without understanding these principles of faith because that's the thing that pleases God. And to me, the biggest struggle with a lot of us Christians, we know the right things to say, the right things to pray, but don't know how to implement it, to do it. And so we become religious oriented and don't know we're religious. In other words, uh, we believe that God is pleased with the things we say and do. God is pleased with a relationship, our faith and our trust and our confidence in him alone. Are we hearing the Holy Spirit tonight? Let's look at some scriptures here. We're going to look at Hebrews 11.6 and Hebrews 11.1. 1, principles of faith. What I want you all to do, uh, those that audio visual, I want you to go back when I first started this and just date it. Instead of having Principle of Faith, part one, part two, part three, let's put the date on there. So Principle of Faith 4, 11, 23 today. So we're going to look at the voice translation first, Hebrews 11, 6, Hebrews 11, 1. Then we're going to look at the, the Passion Translation, Hebrews 11, 6, Hebrews 11, 1. And then we look at the Hebrews 11.6 only in the message translation if we get to it tonight. But may the spirit of the living God grace us to have eyes to see and grace us to have ears to hear what the spirit of the living God is saying to us. Hebrews 11.6, the voice translation says, without faith no one can please God. Because the one coming to God must believe he exists. And that's the key right there. There's a reason why the scripture says he must believe that God exists. That's the foundation of me bringing pleasure to him. I must believe that he exists. So Mr. Father, give me the grace to believe that you exist. And it goes on to say, and he rewards those who come seeking. He reward those that come what? Seeking. Those that come seeking. He rewards those that come seeking. The one that I believe that exists. He rewards those who come seeking the one that believe he exists. Divorce translation, Hebrews 11, 1. So now he tells us what faith is. Faith pleases him, and it tells us why it pleases him in verse 6. Verse 1 says this here. Faith is the assurance of things you have what hoped for. Faith is the assurance of what things you have what hoped for the absolute conviction that there are realities you've never seen there are realities that you've never seen realities that you've never seen the voice translation have a a, an excerpt in there a little commentary and I want to read that what it says is that faith begins as hope faith begins as hope and indeed is unseen now listen to that. faith begins as hope and indeed is unseen so many doubt that it is real many doubt it is 
real why do they doubt that it's real because um, it is unseen so we struggle believing that it's real because it's unseen and many doubt and many what doubt keep that in mind if you will and many doubt it goes on to say what follows what follows follows what faith which is the beginning of hope what follows is the proof that faith is a reality that can be trusted to watch the rest of this powerful message download panorama's app which is available in all app stores by searching panorama christian center create an account to stay connected with panorama christian center one word from god will change your life blessings